Hello everyone, I am from mobile smspk.net and today I will do a comparison between QMobile S6S and QMobile S6 Plus, so let's get started. I have already made review video of QMobile S6S and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile S6S is available in Pakistan for Rs 11,650 and S6 Plus is available in Rs 13,000. I will do this comparison in different rounds like Round 1 for design, Round 2 for display and so on, if any phone wins in that round, then I will increase its score by 1, and this will help us to decide which phone is the winner at the end of this comparison. So in Round 1 we will look into the design of both phones. Both phones are made of plastic and both feel solid and sturdy in hand. Let me show you all the sides of both phones. S6S has 3.5mm headphone jack on the top, while S6 Plus has 3.5mm headphone jack along with micro USB port at the top. Both phones have volume rockers and power button on the right. On S6S there is micro USB port and microphone vent on the bottom, but there is nothing on the S6 Plus at the bottom as microphone is hidden inside back cover. Nothing on the left side on both phones. On back both phones have 8 megapixel camera along with LED flash, fingerprint sensor and speaker grill at bottom. Back covers of both phones are made of plastic. Notification LED is missing on both phones. Both phones have two dedicated SIM card slots and separate micro SD card slot, so you can use two SIMs and micro SD card simultaneously. Both phones does supports 3G, but does not support 4G. Let me show you the weight of both devices. Because S6 Plus has larger battery and it is also bigger in dimensions, so it is heavier than S6S. Both phones have same design, so I call it a draw. Let's move to round 2 which is display. Both phones have HD IPS display with 720p resolution, but S6S has 5 inch display and S6 Plus has 5.5 inch display, S6S has more pixel density than S6 Plus, but surprisingly S6 Plus screen is more brighter and sharper than S6S. So the winner of this round is S6 Plus. Now let's move to the next round and in this round we will look into the fingerprint sensor speed of both phones. Let me show you how fast fingerprint sensors are on both devices. As you have noticed that fingerprint sensor on S6S is little bit faster than S6 Plus. So the winner of this round is S6S. Now let's move to the next round and in this round we will look into the battery performance of both phones. S6S has 2200 mAh battery while S6 Plus has 2500 mAh battery. Battery size difference is not very huge on both devices, but I have managed to get 4.5 hours of screen on time with maximum brightness on S6S, on other hand battery performance of S6 Plus is impressive, and it provides solid 5.5 hours of screen on time. So the winner of this round is S6 Plus, now let's move to next round and in this round we will test speaker quality of both phones. Both phones have backfiring speakers, so let's check out sound quality of both phones. S6S speakers are much louder than S6 Plus, so the winner of this round is S6S. Let's move to next round and in this round we will compare the benchmark scores on both phones.
Both phones are powered by 1.3 GHz quad-core processors and both phones have 2 GB of RAM. CPU and GPU are also exactly the same on both devices, so let's check out which phone will perform better in benchmark scores. Here is the Antutu score of both phones. And here is the Geekbench single and multi-core scores. Both Antutu and Geekbench scores on S6s are slightly better than S6+. Plus. So the winner of this round is S6s. Now let's move to next round and in this round I will compare camera quality of both phones. Both phones have 8 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front cameras, so let's see which phone performs well in this round. I will show pictures of both phones side by side which helps us to decide which phones has better camera quality. As you might have noticed that, details of the picture are more clear on S6 Plus, but color of the sky is oversaturated, while on S6 S color looks more natural, but details are not clear. I have only compared back camera in this round, but I have uploaded camera samples of both phones on my website, and you can download camera sample from there, links are mentioned in the video description. Camera of both devices have their own weakness, so for me it is a draw between both devices, let's move to next round and in this round we will see the boot up time of both phones. Let me boot up both phones on same time. S6s is the winner of this round, as it boots up faster than S6 Plus, now let's move to the final and most important round. In this round I will do a speed test of both phones, I will open multiple apps and games on both phones on same time. I will also check memory management of both phones by switching apps and games loaded into the memory. So let's begin the test. I have opened several apps, and not a single app loaded faster on S6s. Now let's open some games to see if S6s can catch up S6+. Plus. Two out of three games are loaded faster on S6s. So it is a mixed performance so far. Let me check task manager and see that all the apps are still stored in the memory on both devices.
it is looking like memory management is not optimized on S6 Plus, and it is refreshing apps frequently, but there is no such issue with S6S, S, and it is storing apps in the memory very well. Some of the apps and games are loading a bit faster on S6 Plus, but there is the issue in memory management on S6 Plus, which is the bigger factor in performance, as phone is facing problem to keep the application state in the memory, so the winner of this round is S6S. Here is the final score line, S6S wins that comparison with big margin, this is the first time any phones wins comparison which is actually cheap in price. If you are regularly watching my comparison videos, then you might have noticed that I always put cheaper phones on left hand side, and expensive phones on right hand side. And all the time expensive phones wins comparison, but this time S6S turns the table, and despite being cheap in price it is able to win that comparison. So that was the comparison between Qmobile S6S and Qmobile S6 Plus. I hope this video helps you to decide which phone belongs to you, if you are planning to buy any one of these phones. I will bring more videos like this in future, so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now, and don't forget to like this video. You can always visit my website to download not only camera samples, but there are so many other useful stuff on my website as well, so I highly recommending you to visit my website. Website link is mentioned in the video description.